The Bible tells me so. Dot com. Early one December morning, a beautiful 50-foot female humpback whale plays happily about 17 miles off the shore of San Francisco. She's enjoying being strong and free as she jumps high out of the cold water of the Pacific Ocean, making a tremendous splash. But all of a sudden, something seems wrong. It's harder for her to swim and to jump as she did before. She doesn't know it yet, but she has just become entangled in the thick nylon cords that crab fishermen use to hold their traps. She tries to free herself, but the more she turns and rolls around, the more she gets herself all tangled up, until finally, she can hardly move at all. Now she is completely stuck. Since whales cannot breathe underwater like fish can, she is spending all of her strength just trying to keep her head above the water to stay alive. After several hours of struggling, things are looking hopeless. Before long, however, a kind crab fisherman arrives to check his traps and is astonished to find the giant whale caught in the lines. He immediately realises that if the whale is to have any chance of surviving, he must call for help right away. Picking up his phone, he calls a local diver and skipper of a whale watching boat to help. The skipper immediately jumps into action. There it is! One of the rescuers calls out excitedly. They have found the whale exactly where the fishermen told them it would be. But are they too late? And can they free her? As they approach the helpless whale, to everyone's surprise, a large sea lion jumps up out of the water and over the whale. Amazing! As the first diver swims over to the whale, his heart sinks within him because he sees how terribly trapped she is. In some places, the ropes dig so deep into her thick, rubbery skin that they disappear. The whale is trapped so completely that the divers wonder if they will be able to save her. Attempting to rescue a strong, 100,000-pound whale like this is extremely dangerous. One swipe of that huge tail could kill a man. Even though the rescue seems impossible and very dangerous, all the divers see how the whale is struggling to survive and they all agree that they have to try to save her. So into the frigid water they go to do the best that they can. As the divers approach the whale to try to free one of her massive pectoral fins with their special curved knives, they notice something strange. The whale suddenly calms down and remains motionless. She is allowing the divers to get really close, to pull and to cut at the ropes without making a move. It's almost as if she understands that the divers are there to help and that she is trying her best to cooperate. One diver notices that the ropes are also wrapped around the whale's head and realises those ropes must be cut as well. Eye to eye, the whale and the diver work together. The diver cuts and pulls while the whale stays as still as possible, trusting the diver and allowing him to work. Then the diver notices that there are ropes tangled deep inside the whale's mouth. He knows that if he doesn't remove those ropes as well, the whale would not be able to eat and could not survive for very long, even if they are able to free her. 
Incredibly, the whale opens her mouth and she allows the diver to put one hand on her jaw and reach all the way back into her mouth to free the ropes that are tangled in her baleen. Now the divers turn their attention to the thick web of cords wrapped around the whale's powerful tail. Here they have to be very careful because the whale's tail is very big and very strong. As they cut through each of the 20 cords that tightly wrap around her tail, the whale not only stays calm, she also helpfully repositions her tail each time the rope is cut. This makes it easier for these brave men to do their work. Finally, the last rope holding her tail is cut and the whale is free. All the divers watch as this great, big, beautiful whale disappears smoothly and gracefully out of sight. Now she is gone. Or is she? Suddenly, one of the divers notices that the massive whale is coming back, swimming quickly straight toward him. But she does not run into him. She stops one foot away. Then, slowly inching forward, she gives the diver a gentle little nudge with her big, round, smooth nose. Then she lets out a great, big, happy hum that is so strong it causes the diver's chest to vibrate. After that, the whale carefully approaches all the other divers in the water and gives each one of them the same gentle and affectionate little nudge. Then she lingers close to the divers for a few more minutes, playfully swimming amongst her new friends before swimming off into the vast depths of the Pacific Ocean. One diver, recalling that incredible experience, said, It was the most fantastic moment of my life. Before she was trapped and needed help, this amazing creature was a happy, strong and free whale. Now, in addition to all that, she is also a grateful whale. Just like that special whale, we too should be grateful and say thank you when others help us. And like those kind and brave men who came to rescue her, we should always be willing, whenever possible, to help others in need. Bible verse And just as you want men to do to you, do to them likewise. Luke 6, 31